What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Just closed a date from my previous video. Walking back to the same venue for another date, the new girl. Um, in this video today, I want to talk about goals in terms of quantitative metrics, in terms of the amount of leads or phone numbers that you get in a particular week and how that will sort through the funnel, so to speak, and come out with solid results at the end. All right, so <clears throat> I want you guys, or before we continue, please press the subscribe button below if you've not already subscribed. Make sure to like this video if you find it helpful. Um, basically, you should be shooting for about 40 leads per week. Okay, so let's do some math here. I was telling my students on the live programs, you should be shooting for five to 15 phone numbers per night game session. All right, so let's say you're going out Friday and Saturday at a minimum, minimum if you're getting five to 15 phone numbers, and it's not that hard. Let's say you're out from like 10 p.m. till 2 a.m., so four hours. If you're shooting for five phone numbers, slightly, very slightly more, a different way this time, very slightly more than one phone number per hour, okay, which is doable for anyone. If you're getting two phone numbers per hour, you're going to hit eight, okay, but that five to 15 range over those two nights, that will give you 10 to 20 at a minimum, okay? Then if you can incorporate, or sorry, 10 to 30 at a minimum, then if you can incorporate um, going out, potentially adding in like a Thursday, if that's doable in your schedule, or even some other off night of the week, and you can find like some drink special or whatever. You have to, I have videos about determining the best venues in your city. So you should try to get at least three or four nights out in a week. Okay. And if you're still in the beginner inter intermediate stages, you should be going out even more than that. When I was transitioning from intermediate to advanced, I was going on five to seven nights a week at the peril of my job. And, you know, I was working a full-time job. I ended up being fired from three major tech companies. You don't have to take it to that extreme, but you do need to put in the volume of the leads. So let's say you're going out three nights a week. Okay. That's fairly comfortable and manageable for almost anyone. So five to 15 times three, that's going to put you 15 to 45 phone numbers. All right. So let's say you're like, get, let's say you're getting 25 or 30 phone numbers from night game. Okay. That's reasonable. If you're not able to hit that metric, either go out more or do shorter sets, shorter interactions. Then you're going to have your daytime approaching, which is going to be, I don't advocate going and dedicating hours to day game, but you can approach the random attractive girl you see on the street. Okay. So that will give you, let's say you get five daytime phone numbers in a week. That's reasonable. Okay. It's like doing a couple approaches in a day. If you're, if you happen to be walking to work, if you're at the grocery store, at the gym, whatever it may be, let's say you get five there. Then, and I have other videos about this, but you should be uh, having professional Tinder pictures professional online game pictures in the fucking rain and you should use tinder and bumble um, on a daily basis i advocate setting a calendar reminder a daily calendar reminder on your phone that will remind you to use tinder and bumble for half hour each week and you can think of that as almost like online approaching okay like the ceo of tinder said he without revealing the algorithm he said that um the best way to get more matches is to use the app more. What a concept. Think of it like this. If you weren't going out to any nightclubs, you're not going to get any night game phone numbers. If you're not using the Tinder app, okay, or some people are using it more than you are, they're going to get more exposure and therefore more matches. So even if you can dedicate a half an hour a day, okay, you can do it on your work commute. You can do it, um, you know, when you happen to be 
going to the gym or whatever it may be, okay? It doesn't matter, you know, what the scenario is for when you do it, but you should be allocating some time towards it on a regular basis, okay? You can do it when you're fucking shitting, <laughs> when you're, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, whenever, whenever you have downtime today, try to get like a half hour total or even sometimes more on that. And in order to maximize your chances there, you're going to need pro pictures and you're also going to need a good bio. Okay, I go over that stuff in my Occam's Razor product at ultimateseductionsystem.com. I also go over how to optimally run your night game and day game sessions for acquiring the leads, okay? So, adding things back up, so you get 30 night game phone numbers, maybe you get five from day game, maybe you get five from Tinder, maybe you get, maybe your Tinder profile is a little bit better, so you get 10 from Tinder, and you get like 25 from night game, five from day game, whatever it may be, whatever, play your strengths where you happen to acquire the most leads. Night game is usually the easiest place to acquire leads because you can just go from group to group to group to group, and in cities where things are open past two, you, you know, like when I was running programs in Vegas, and Miami, and London, um, on this tour, stuff's open till four or five or six a.m. Okay, so we have six, seven hours to acquire leads. Now, from there, just going back to the, the simple math again, if you can, so taking that forty leads, forty phone number metric, if you can, from there, set ten percent of those for dates. Okay, that's the target I want you guys to take from this video. And this is just a kind of a introductory um, set of goals here for you guys. You can tighten things up once your skill improves and uh, your lead working improves. Okay, but let's say you get four of those set up for dates. And I have another product called the Leads Machine. It's www.sexleadmachine.com. We'll put up the links to those on this video and in the description. But that, sh that goes over how to optimally take a lead and get it to meet up for a date. But let's say, for the sake of argument, you can get 10% of those to meet up, which is not a whole lot. It's a reasonable goal for anyone, regardless of their level. Now you have four dates for the week, okay? Now I can teach you my Occam's Razor product how to close most of your dates. But let's say you're able to close just half those dates, which is also a reasonable goal. Now you've got two closes in that week. Your 40 leads turn into two closes. 52 weeks in a year. Now you're closing 104 in a year. There is almost no one doing that, both in the world, unless you're a celebrity, and in the pickup artist community especially, even the advanced guys that I know are not consistently closing over 100 a year. I am, I devoted my life to this, and there are some other select handful of guys that are doing this. But if you shoot for those metrics, it can be within your, your grasp, okay? And again, this isn't a, a fucking product pitch. The guys are like, well, what if I can't get 40 leads? You need to be running your night game, day game, and online game interactions optimally and the most efficiently. I go over that in extensive detail in my Occam's Razor product, www.ultimateseductionsystem.com. People say, well, I can't, I, get the, I got the 40 leads, but now I can't get them to meet up. How do I do that? I go over the exact flowcharts for every possible situation from every possible lead source and going over every possible objection and exactly how to answer it. And I give you the copy and paste solution of the text that I'm using that are the result of over 10,000 leads, working over 10,000 phone number leads and closing over 1,000 girls. www.sexleadmachine.com <laughs> Sounds like, sound like I'm like a little fucking creeper over here. So funny, funny URLs. That'll maximize the amount of meetups you're getting. And it's even for people that are already advanced. Like I had a guy, a 200 plus count guy, he got 200 plus from my Alchemist Razor system. He got leads machine and he set up 4X to his meetup rate even though he was getting a lot of dates already. When you're at my level, you're having multiple new dates in a day. Okay, so you're getting leads, of course, you're getting a, a volume of leads, but you're getting a lot of them to meet up because you know how to work them properly, which is covered in the leads machine product. It's basically exactly how I'm working my leads. So you can work them the exact same way. Um, and then from there, you pick the best ones, the hottest ones you have the most chemistry with, you make that your rotation. I'm thinking, I, I told you guys I wouldn't be pumping out products, so I'm thinking about making a third called like, 
um, like one week rotation or something. I, I want to put down like all the, the core formula to, to build a rotation in like one week so that guys can just literally copy that exactly and like be done with it, like be done with the whole fucking mass approaching on a weekly basis, et cetera, et cetera. You can continue to do that shit, but I know to, down to a T, down to a science now, I can go to any new city and I can build up, if you want to get, you know, I can build up two to three girls within a week, but within a month's time, I can usually have five to 12. Okay, that's girls waiting. I can usually have five to 12 regulars in a month's time. So I might go chronicle the details of that, exactly how to, to build that rotation very quickly. I've done it time and time and time again as I lived in tons of different cities all around the world and my clients have, have replicated as well. So that's it here to reiterate those metrics. Shoot for 40 numbers in the week if you happen to have a really good online game profile. More of the leads can come from online game than from night game. If you don't, night game is probably your best option to supplement. Day game is just too slow. There's not enough bang for the buck, but do the daytime approaches as you encounter hot chicks during the day. And then aim to get at least four of them on meetups. If you can't get at least four, which is 10% of your total leads, you can't get at least, well, first of all, you can't get at least 40 leads in a week. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. If you can't get at least 40 leads in a week, then you need to focus on the lead acquisition part. If you can't get at least 10% to meet up, which would be four in this case, you need to focus on the lead management part. If you can't get at least half of those closed, you need to focus on the lead closing part. Okay, my two products, Occam's Razor and uh, Leads Machine cover all three of those in extensive detail. So, hope this was helpful. Literally make these your goals and your metrics. Leave comments below. Um, if you would like to take live training, johnnyantilifestyle.gmail.com. You'll know, you'll know where your problems are based on how the math is working out. And then you'll know where you need to improve. Okay, like and subscribe below. It's helpful. Thank you very much. Take care.